Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest name on 2K in existence. And listen up, I'm gonna be showing y'all all the best jump shots. Since somebody still gotta do it, man, y'all are still missing. Spread this to the community. Spread this to your friends, bro. Anyone you know that can't shoot, spread the video, man. Best jump shots for every build, every rating, every height. Still cannot shoot on one of the easiest shooting 2Ks to ever exist, guys. Your ego is too high. You need to learn to submit to the higher power and listen to people that know more than you. fix your ego this is why you can't excel in life guys. i'm gonna give you all the best tips how to be successful with shooting so you have way more fun on firstly what you're gonna want to do you're gonna want to change your shot timing visual cue to release okay this don't matter switch it to something you don't use and watch you start missing it matters trigger effect off you don't need something and vibrating in your controller okay you know i see a lot of y'all old wreck heads it's all i hear on the controller bro it's weird it's strange okay you know my boy can leave leave elite and join rise if you're going to continue to play this game and you're going to be able to make it back to starter one leave elite and join rise okay because elite is worthless two-way tenacity does nothing it's just broken you can shoot from everywhere full court shots all you have to do is do three layups three middies or whatever just three in a row and you get heat check it's an arcade feature i thought this was <laughs> Here's jump shot right here with a good green window, and you only need a 79. Okay, this is 610 plus. You only need a 79. There's another jump shot, right? You need an 82 for this one. It's read easy to time, all that, man. Goes another one if you need a lower one, like got old midi and three point. You could use this, okay? You could have some success. It got a pretty decent green window for that rating, especially. Man. Got another Isaac, okay? Really want to shoot over those. Already tall as hell, and you want to shoot over those. You don't want it as little as fast. You have this one okay this is personally my favorite kd one i think i don't use this build very often but when i use this it's very easy to time backwards so you know green window is pretty big but yeah we got another one another alternate reality it's slower i'm pretty sure that means the green window is going to be somewhat higher you got the a plus shoot over over those uh yeah. look if you got a little build Oh, Curry is one of the best jump shots for you. If you don't have Patty Mills, use this jumper. Or, yes, yeah, this jumper. But if you don't like Curry, I got some alternate realities for you, man. The baby AI, maybe T Mac, okay? And Iverson looks like T Mac, shoots like T Mac. So if you're used to using T Mac, then use this jump shot and you probably find the same success. Some people like this better than Curry. Now, for some reason, you have a low three as a guard. I don't know what you're doing in a low midi because that helps you get your shot. I don't know what you're doing. You're lost, but just rush jump shot, man. You, you could find some success with it. It really, you know, easy to see your cue. Um, hey, man. I don't know, bro. I don't know what y'all got going on. Here's the best jump shot in the game, okay? The 87 or higher midi or three point. This is the best jump jump shot in the game. I don't care what nobody says. T-Mac, best jump shot in the game. Share this to everybody. T-Mac, 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 guys. T-Mac, T-Mac. That's the best jump. Look, here's the baby T-Mac if you messed up your build. This is probably the most important jump shot that y'all need to be recommending to people. Popper builds, lock builds, ISO builds, spot up, stretches, whatever, bro. This is... You need the T-Mac effect without having T-Mac. This is the jump shot. I switch from this, JT Thor, all them other jumpers that don't, when you can't get T-Mac, this is the best one, okay? It's me, man. Hold on, let me call you back. Let me show you an alternate reality of this jumper. You know, got a, even a lower rating, okay? It's the 76 version. Now look, even for 2K25, I'm gonna give you all the best jump shots. So you turn, stay tuned, know these. Look, here is the best jump shot in the game. Mac and this are the best. This is for the little guards. And um, you get this if you are starter one, you unlock this jump shot. I know a lot of y'all be asking that, but yeah. Make sure y'all click the bell, click the bell. If you really struggling, my career, 12 minute quarters, on rookie thank me thank me later that method seems to be easier than the street ball method Met the street ball method still seems pretty easy but my career 12 minute rookie that seemed crazy easy a lot of people don't know about that bro okay and you could just shoot over people a lot of people don't know you could shoot over these on these easy settings i even shoot over them in street ball a lot of y'all don't know that here man I want to show y'all this right here, guys. This is very important. This is so important, bro. A lot of y'all, you're not thinking, man. I've been on at least 40 different accounts this year, right? And I'm noticing something. People don't have their badges or their hotspots, and they're going to play, and then they're whining about the game, especially this year since the rebirth, right? It gets you the silver badges or whatever. People aren't 
getting their hot spots and maxing out their shooting badges. You have to do it. Literally, th this right here. Look, y'all are playing and you don't even got this max. How do you know the real truth of the game? You feel me? Look, Hall of Fame MIDI Magician. Bro, are you gonna miss a MIDI with that? Especially, I already gave y'all the best pull-ups in the game. Y'all go check it out for your build. I gave y'all the best releases in the game too. And I'm finna go over the best jump shots again. I go, I put in different jump shots every time. But look, you want to max out your jump shots. Look, right here, Claymore. You wanna max this hoe out. You wanna max out Mini Magician. You really wanna max out open looks. This is so important. It will change your game. I don't know why the goddamn modded controller guys, they're not doing a badge updates on all the uh, shooting badges first. I don't know if I'm just tripping, but I just feel like these shooting badges change everything. It's not even close. When you play with, without this, and then compared to with this, it's completely different, bro. That Catch and shoot, one of the most important badges, bro. People don't even got their catch and shoot max. They're gonna go play and they're missing. Look, I got this whole hall of fame. You feel me? People aren't maxing out their badges, especially because of the rebirth. I'm telling you, this is why you're missing way more than not. Look, the green machine, you gotta get this whole max. Maybe it might not do nothing this year, but I, I, I don't know in particular what but I know overall, when you get all your badges, it's way easier to shoot. I'm shooting 75% on an 83-point build, right? Look, Space Creator, max that hole. Watch what happens. It's broken. Look, max that hole. Watch what happens. You, you see these badges? You want to max out your shooting badges, bro. The Agent 3s, you want to max this hole out. Before you say like, shooting this and that and that and this. The, the shooting's broken because Mike Wang's playing God. It's giving you random releases, and it's not letting you make it when you do time it right, bro. When you do a little bit wiggly and you still time it right, he's not letting you make it sometimes. It's annoying. It's broken, bro. It's it's annoying. Stop punishing the top players. It's corny as hell. Mike Wang really need to lose his job, bro. Blinders, look. Max this hoe out. Watch what's going to happen. The Hall of Fame Deadeye, max this hoe out. Watch what's gonna happen. Limitless range, max it out. Watch what's gonna happen. You feel me? I'm telling you, bro. Max your badges. If you need the method, let me know. I could get all the shooting badges in probably six hours overall. All of them, right? I just don't have the time yet. This is a new build, by the way. This is a rebirth. I did all this in, in one day. All these badges you see, I did all this in two hours. Before I get into all the jump shots, I want to show y'all this, right? Get your lethal hot zones. 2K Lab did a test, right? You have to at least get your hot spots. Before you play online, get your hot spots, bro. It will be way easier to shoot on every build you use. Get your hot spots. Send this to a friend. Tell them, get your hot spots. Stop making everyone miserable to play the game because you're too lazy to get your hot spots. Get them. The lethal, these purple hot zones, you have to do the art of shooting drill. I think it's open like two times a week. Y'all uh, clarify down below. And also let me know y'all's favorite jump shots down below and uh, anything else. But you know, look, hot zones, very important. You have to get them. Now look, here are the visual cues explained by Mike Wayne. I personally use release, but you can hear what he says. But look, none of this truly matters because there's so much latency, but you have to let it go before Q of whichever one you use. It's kind of crazy, bro. But listen up, li li listen up. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball is raised up above the head before the shooting motion begins. Push, which is the default setting, is when the shooting motion is underway and the ball is being pushed forward. And release is the point just before the ball leaves the shooter's hand. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the Now look, the whole problem with this is there's so much latency in 2K. And there's so there's different latency in so many different modes. So it's kind of hard, you know? You know, it's still easy, right? You just got to get used to it. You got to have your prediction skills up. You can't always go off the cue because there's so many different latencies. Take off trigger effect. Something should not be vibrating in your hand. You're a grown man. You feel me? Take off trigger effect on your PlayStation and on the game. You can keep on vibration. It's cool. But take off trigger effect. Throws you off. It's ridiculous.
when I be playing rec, all I hear old heads, young heads. Yeah. Just <sighs> turn off your jump shot meter. I don't care if you don't know your jump shot, figure it out. You get a 20% plus boost without the meter. Tell all your friends, share this video to them. I know they're scamming us, but if you want to be able to shoot, jump shot boost will help you. If you want to be able to shoot, also even better, Gatorade. You can probably go with one of these hoes or not even use it. Make sure you always do your weekly workouts. They took gym rat out the game. If you do your weekly workouts on a certain level, you're gonna get the extra blue bar that helps you with your shooting and everything you do, correct? Very important, your Gatorade is gonna help you shoot. You, you see how they, everything in the game is designed for you to be in a VC deficit. We are basically paying to play the game. Never thought about that, huh? Now one more thing, in every 2K, people take all this stuff off to make it have less lag delay. You could turn off your shot feedback, you could turn off everything. If you, like, if you feel like stuff is really bothering you, if you're lag delayed, you turn all this off, it could help. I'm gonna keep it on. But they say you turn all this off. They be doing this in every 2K, like the stage guys. I don't know if it help or don't. The ball trail, they turn it all off. If you're experiencing stuff and you just want to test this out, this is something you could Hey, y'all click on this video on the screen. But well, hey, hey, here we go again. Here we go again. People talking this for when this hit the fan. Everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. It's the top of the dome.